Ah. I love how you love me. Even when I almost lost my life to drug addiction. But she be my G for life. I'm right here with you. everybody. He says, Kwani X Handy Checkers. Congratulations. It's Aquafina task o'clock and for this task, it will be going into two categories. For the first one, it's all about sharing meaningful connection with your party of life. How well do you know your party of life? And this task will go on by answering questions regarding your pair. A ball was provided with questions. So each quiz, ca each quiz card had five questions and the pairs will take turn answering. Each question has carries 10 points. So in total of if you get all five questions, your pair gets 50 points. The heads of house were made to coordinate this game. And at the end, any of the housemates will come in and do the same for the heads of house. There were unexpected questions like, what's your pair's shoe size? <laughs> what's your partner's best friend? Uh, your The name of your pair's best friend while in high school like how would someone remember that but it's so shocking to even see that suj and ace got that they both knew each other's high school friend they asked about what what uh, your pair's choice like looks or personality when it comes to a girl looks or, pe or personality which one does your pair go for there are other interesting questions like the state you grew up in. The checkers answered questions like their favorite actor growing up, their favorite snack. The same way we are provided with questions like your partner's recent ex name, which both of them failed. <laughs> and then for the series, they even asked them about their favorite subjects in secondary school. OC and OZ were asked questions like your pet's university name, favorite artist, least favorite food, who do you miss the most, ice cream flavor. They got four out of the five questions they were asked. Double K, you know, you could think couple will know themselves to the last drop, but they didn't get all five questions asked. They were asked questions like pet animal, favorite movie, best friend uh what does your partner like cooking they got four out of the five questions asked then came wani and handy who actually did very well they know each other very well they were asked questions like their international musician best international musician their proudest moment tea or coffee least favorite their their least favorite house chores our heads of house were the last and they were asked questions like favorite vacation sports course studied in school they actually failed this question and i'm like and i was wondering like why well i think what explains this is that um anita did two courses but even at that i didn't think uh, nelly got any of that they also asked them their mother's first name they failed this as well as announced by big brother the winners of the first category were wani and handy tofa and suj and then to the second and final part of aquafina task this one is called party of life proposal the housemates were given some time to prefer to prepare a special speech for their pair <laughs> and which you propose you are expected to propose to your party of life present them with a bracelet at the end of this speech so they were presented with a book that had nine attributes you have to pick three attributes out of this nine attributes which you know aligns with your pair so when you pick these three attributes you can develop it and narrate how it's ex how it aligns with your pair and big brother told them that they should bear in mind they will be judged based on storytelling story connection to selected attributes so any attributes you pick you make sure the story you will be telling us or the speech you will be giving aligns with that then authenticity again emotional connection and strength of party proposal this is what they will be judged on First to hit the stage were Double K, that is Cassia and Kelly Ray, our official couple of the season. And Kelly Ray expressed how Cassia has been there since he lost his mom. That Cassia has been like a mother, a sister, a breath of fresh air. And even recalled how Cassia would, you know, 
go the extra mile to come watch him perform even when there is no allocation for transportation and all that she will still be there and coming to cassia stone cassia spoke on how when she had this business idea and told kelly ray and kelly ray went the extra mile to go and take a loan to give her as capital to start up that business oh my god it was so touching <laughs> it was in all of this whenever the cameraman could show chingwe Chimwe will just be giving them this eye like, mm, the two of you did this for each other. You know, Chimwe is actually suspecting that those two are couples. Up next, we have the Aces. Tofa mentioned on how they met a year ago. Same workplace, bonded over football. And since then, he, uh, Suj has been his confidence. You know, that they have same tests, except for when it comes to women. <laughs> that if you put a gun to Suj's face, that he would definitely never sell him. And now he has three brothers, as the mom counts Suj as one of his sons. When he was Suj turned, Suj said, I'm writing a letter to Tufa. Tufa with a pure heart, the one that puts everyone before himself. That they started as office colleague and from there to friends and now they are brothers that indeed their destinies their paths were meant to meet that he's grateful for doing this journey together with and him. now this is where the tears start dropping then came wani and handy sisters from beds paddy by choice and they said Wani is like a mom because when she had drug addiction, Wani was the one who was there for her, never judged her, helped her to pull out. That even when one guy tried to play the two of them, Wani had to say, see, this guy won't run us free too. And at that, you know, they became wiser. When it was Wani's choice, uh, Wani's turn, Wani also said, you've been the most beautiful, that you have the most beautiful face. Thank you for being a shoulder to cry on. Even when I've had a series of heartbreak, depression, after graduating and no work, I became depressed. You've always been there for me. That it's an honor to be your sister. And even in the next world, she will still come as her twin. Zion thanked Chinwe for being a natural, for being strong, for taking up the role of a mother to her siblings after they lost their mom, that indeed she's a strong woman, a strong woman with an innocent heart, that in fact, Chinwe is just a big baby because at any little thing, it gets to Chinwe. Chinwe also thanked Zion for being God's biggest gift to her, that she's happy she's doing this with him, that Zion is always there encouraging her, you know, making her to learn from her mistakes, that even when Ibuka tried to crush them <laughs> at the life eviction show, that Zion was still understandable and, you know, made, made her see things from another view. And even when she had a fight with Chizoba, that Zion stood with her and then corrected her in private. And I'm like, ah, uh -uh. I thought uh, Chime was the one saying Zion could have, you know, stood with her and then do the correction letter. Well, it's content now. She'll be there doing tasks. From asking a friend for his power bank to being each other's life bank. Hmm. Toby Forge went ahead to explain how loyal Mayor is that he can keep secrets. He always check up on him when he's down. That he also led him to the path he is now, as it was Mayo who introduced him to content creation. Mayo also explained how much of a blessing Toby is. That is his after COVID blessing, being that they met after COVID in Unilag. And from there, they've been friends to brothers. That Toby is his favorite, yes, and hardest goodbye from gym bodies to friends mickey went ahead to sing who is your guy <laughs> for femi and explain how much of a blessing femi has been to him meeting at the gym dancing to michael jackson's liberian girl and he was you know he felt special when femi introduced him to his dad and telling him that He's the first of his friends who meets his dad. Ah, that he felt like a babe that day. He felt so special. He also told Femi that he'll always be here for him. Any dance, uh, any dance competition or whatever, or whatever, whether it requires one person, he would be there to cheer him. And Femi also explained how much of a nurturer Mickey is. 
you know, that Miki, your parents, your siblings are proud of you, that you are a star and you are their star. They also mentioned, Femi also mentioned how they had a huge fight just before coming on this show, but he's grateful for their baby heart as that fight could have made this moment not to be possible. From pageantry audition to sisters, Anita called Nelly her fashionista, her, her, her warrior, that they've known each other for 20 years now they've been in each other's friend in each other's life for 20 years now and she hoped that this friendship friendship continued to blossom nelly also called her her soul sister and being that she is the only girl to four brothers that she's happy she has anita in her life that in her next life she will come as anita's sister sean and victoria had their hands when do, while doing their presentation and sean went ahead to mention how grateful he is having victoria in his corner how it has helped him grow seeing his flaws and made her to do better from meeting in dubai to being on this big platform victoria also thanked sean for always being there for her she told Sean that you are my safe space. <laughs> we met in an unexpected place, but here we are. You know all my secrets and I know they are safe with you. Are, are you sure they are safe with you? <laughs> she even asked that. I hope they are safe with you. Well, she also mentioned how when she brought up this business idea, Sean was the one advising her and at that, he nicknamed Sean the wise one. Hmm. <laughs> glad to hear that you see that her friendship had been through a lot but she's she's thankful that they are here today and she's thankful for sean for believing in her Ozzy called his brother Ozzy his name ozumba which means you are enough for all and that you are enough for him specially that you are the professor outfit in check 247 that he's glad to be doing this with you glad to be doing life with you that you've shared your last card with him on several occasions Ozzy also coming on stage said your name Ose Loka which it means God is thoughtful that God was really thoughtful of him when he gave you to him that you are a brother a friend and a G that he has never worried about sharing his insecurities with you as he knows they are safe. DJ Flo referred to Ruti as his sister mentioning the times Ruti has been there for her from nurturing their friendship to Ruti you know, seeing herself through school, raising a 15-year-old child, doing it from beginning till now. That Ruth is such a strong person. They also recalled their time in Ghana and DJ Flo mentioned this year OCD never starts that time because she just had a little space that contained both toilets, kitchen, everything, all in one space. <laughs> that condition made this year OCD not to manifest. <laughs> well, DJ Flo also thanked her for being the only one who was there when she lost her brother, that she turned and it was only Ruti among her friends who was present for her at that burial. Ruti also thanked her for being a friend, a sister, that she loves the fact that although Ruti is very diplomatic, but when it comes to her, uh, DJ Flo, sorry, that although DJ Flo is very diplomatic, but when it comes to her, DJ Flo always tells her the truth, you know, and at that, she makes adjustments if need be. That they say follow who no road. That when she came to Lagos, she knew nothing about Lagos. But DJ Flo was there to direct her, although younger than her, but always smart and there to guide her. The betters came with energy with Dr. TJ saying, Oh, Ben's uh Ben loved words of affirmation and that he decided to fill Ben with words of affirmation, telling him, you know, the housemates are good in this, but you're better. This, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, even when it was uh, when he got to Chizoba, he said, "Look at uh, Chizoba, the checkers. I know you love Chizoba, but can Chizoba kneel and kiss your feet?" And at that, Doctor knelt and told uh, Ben <laughs> to keep his feet, and went ahead to kiss his feet. <laughs> and say, "Wahala, wahala, fa final task <laughs> today, and today." Well, Ben, who was so uh, short of words, went ahead to mention. Uh, TJ's phone, which is Tunji, and now told us the meaning of each alphabet. Mm. He said that uh, TJ is so dedicated to work that he had COVID three times and still showed up after each one. 
<laughs> that who could have thought from being toxic online fans to being uh fan to being to being housemates on the show they were actually arguing about and then the last but not the least we have the checkers from sisters to friends to g's they say they have known all through their life they shared moments about growing up uh their mom sending them on errand how they will forget the errand and just be gisting on the road <laughs> how chizaba is the coordinated one with well arranged wardrobe and <clears throat> onyeka on the other hand with scattered wardrobe onyeka thanked chizaba for always arranging her space with her <clears throat> that even when they were coming to the house she begged her to always help her keep her things arranged but onyeka said but Chizuba said, why won't you have your things arranged? What will it be doing? Will it be chasing guys? If not chasing guys, why won't you have your space arranged? But then fast forward to today, Chizuba is now the one following a guy <laughs> in the house. It was just a natural and authentic story. At the end of this, Big Brother now announced the winners of Aquafina Task. So with the category, with the first category we have is, that is Tofa and Suj, Wani and handy and now to this last category the winners are i mean the winners is okay the winners are onyeka and chizaba that is the checkers and with that the aquafina task came to an end it was such an emotional one but i definitely enjoyed it thank you for listening if you got to this point please Comment in the comments. Comment in the comment section. Tell me where you're watching from, and I will definitely give you a shout out in my next video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I see you in my next video. Do have a lovely night. Bye.